All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Fallout 76 Part 35, and we are just outside... Wrong button. We are just outside learning the history of the Riverside Manor, which hopefully takes more than 10 minutes. Otherwise, I should have just finished it last episode, but... We do have a level up to spend. There are some mole rats nearby, but I think we're good to get us going here. As always, we check for Master Pick Lock. Master lockpick, whatever. Unfortunately, it's still not there. How about master hacking? Not seeing it. Okay, so. We could take another makeshift warrior. Keep that going. Yeah, uh... What, uh yeah, okay. I feel like we're gonna need it eventually anyway. And then hopefully we just draw the last one we're gonna need one day. And then that'll just be great. But let's, let's put the makeshift warrior rank 4 on. Beautiful. I think we're probably going to use 15 strength and 15 intelligence. I'm just not sure. 15 strength is a guarantee. Intelligence we'll have to see, I guess. But for now, we need to level up a bit more. Alright, where are you guys coming at? Where are you all coming from? I'm ready. Rose is ready. We had a couple of really bad scares uh, yesterday. That was the deadliest encounter. Deadliest series of encounters. The closest Rose has gotten to dead by far. On two occasions, I believe, without a Psycho buff active giving us more endurance and HP, Rose was actually dead, which is insane. We have enough meat for now. I'm not going to pick up meat. That'll probably just spoil. So absolutely insane that Rose is first off even alive, but also... We just need to start wearing power armor more frequently. Um, anytime we're in Blood Eagle territory, it's basically a non negotiable Okay. Interesting. It's basically non-negotiable now. Like, if we're going against Blood Eagles, we gotta put the power armor on. The <laughs> they're way too strong. We need to stop picking up every item we find. I think we have enough resources at this point. I don't need to be picking everything up um, off of dead corpses. Case in point, mole rat meat. What is this trap about? Oh, there's a Tesla arc up there. Okay, I see. Bad. Wow, these things are everywhere. But they are all over this house. Just trying to run a circle around it for now, I guess. Hello, hello? Hello, hello? Rose doing Rose thing. Oh, hey, here's a door we don't need to play around or mess around with. We can just open the door. It's another manor with the big lion statues out front. That's crazy. The nice sports car right here? Why are there sports here? I thought it was going to be a mole rat den. Ammo? I still want the ammo. I don't, like I said, we're not going to pick up every weapon anymore, but ammo, I mean. Yeah, we're going to do that. I don't see why we wouldn't. Where's the other one? Here it is. Good night, sweet princess. There's also a door over here. Does that, like, connect to the same loading zone? It doesn't. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah, it says Riverside Manor, not door. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I guess we can start over here. Sure. We'll work our way over. Alright. Hopefully this is, like I said, more than five or ten minutes. We've already spent five of those minutes, so as long as it lasts another five minutes, I think I made the right call. <laughs> But yeah, we need to wear power armor way more often. We're starting to get to the point where we actually have the fusion cores to do such a thing. But when it comes to blood eagles, it's non-negotiable. Pop the drugs. Pop the power armor. Those blood eagles are dangerous. That's weird. Sounds loud. A lot of creaking. Alright, big man. Okay, not what I had in mind, but okay. Even more scorched, really. Oh, they're downstairs, okay, got it. Okay, they're scorched all over the inside, too. Aha! Y'all thought. Do a little, do a little bat stash and get in there quicker. Ow. Ooh, nice headshot on the leader. The, cr the ones with the crowns are always, like, the leaders of the groups. Wow, I already got... No, there's no way that's the end. Oh my god, dude. Where is my lockpicking skill at? 
What level does Rose have to get to to get master pick lock? Lock pick, whatever. Driving me nuts, man. Driving me nuts. Where are these guys at? Aha! Swing it up. Got him. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a daily for 10 Scorch today. Who knew? Uh, we can check the dailies later. Oh, wait. Were there no doors over here? There were no doors over here. That's weird. Oh, that's right. This is over the road over there. I remember that. Okay. Wow. This place is massive. Why would you have this staircase here right next to the front staircase? That doesn't seem to make much sense in my brain. Okay, diluted stim pack because we are getting a little low. Good job, Rose. Rose does not mess around. Okay, nice little lounge right here. I'll tell you what, the Riversides were living good, I'll tell you that. Riverside Manor Garage. Okay, sure. I'm sure this isn't much. That's why I'm willing to go do it right now. It had a whole loaded screen. Maybe it is a lot, actually. Uh, Probably not. We'll see. We'll see. And now that I'm thinking about it, why would it have a loading screen if there wasn't going to be a lot going on in here? Oh, no. Okay. It's just the outside world. Okay. Perfect. We might as well explore this while we can't. There was, a, there was literally a door. Here I was thinking this was the only way into the garage, but no, there's a wide open door right there. I'm an idiot. Laugh at me now. <laughs> what am I doing? Stimpak Super, yeah! Alright, I guess I'll take a look at what the challenges are today. What are we working with? Scrap pre-war money five. Boy, will that almost guaranteed happen. Scrap a board game. That's I can also do that. Kill three Snallygasters. That probably won't happen. Eat a cake pie or candy. That won't happen. Kill turrets of trap in a camp. That won't happen. So scrap pre-war money and scrap board game today. Okay, I can do that. Two days left on the weeklies. That's so much new cola to, to drink, dude. 19 alcoholic beverages in two days. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> That's so much alcohol. I mean, we're going to be drinking just alcohol for our liquid, but still, like, that's crazy. I guess we I guess we can, if that's all we drink to get our, our liquids back up, but still. Okay, here's where the lounge was, right? Wow. What do you, what do you call this? The hall? We're going to open up the hall with the curtains and all that good stuff? There's so much... There's so much here. What the hell? I just opened automatically. I did nothing. Okay, we're exploring that very soon, but let me finish this place out. <sighs> Not us. Only me. Oh my god. Only the power of Rose. Here we are. You can't beat Rose. Nobody beats Rose. Except for the Blood Eagles, maybe. <laughs> Blood Eagles might beat Rose. God, dude, that was so close last episode. All right, I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's search around. There's the six pre-war money I need to scrap. That was easy. Moldy food, gross. Nuka-Cola? Thanks. How am I supposed to drink? Wait, did I only need to drink three? Or was it way more than that? No, I need to drink 22 Nuka-Colas and 19 alcoholic beverages. Both of those are not happening. One of those might happen. But both of those are not happening. Okay, back out into this area, right? Dude, look how nice this place must have been. Board game, I can scrap that. Unstoppable's board game. There it is. Now I just need to find somewhere to scrap. Easy. How do we play on the grand piano? What does it sound like? Show me, Rose. What are you cooking with? Same you play on the other piano. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if that would be true or not. Uh, she could play more than I can, like I said. Old table. I remember in Fallout 3 New Vegas, one of the Fallout games, I made it a mission to make get a full set of pool racked up and everything. That took way too long. Okay. 
Nothing there. Uh, just search all. Nice. There's the ammo I needed. And a stimpack that I looted I missed somewhere. Nice. That secret door just opened on us. Like, it just went, whoop, I'm open now. That was weird. House teapot, no. They have one of those souvenirs, okay. Two and two. Here we go. If not for that secret door opening, this is where I would have expected the mystery to be. Oh, wow, that is... Sh there is nothing back here. What was the point of this? Okay, uh, Dandy Boy Apples. Bourbon. Grilled Rad Roach. I mean, if it's already cooked... I don't know who was in here recently that locked that and hid that in there, but... It's Rose's now. She stole it. Alright, and that's the other way out. Okay, so... All that's really left is to head into that secret door that just kind of opened on its own. Dude, this is such a nice house, though, for real. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Look at this. You get close to it. Like, what if you had guests and they just walked over here? How do you, how are you explaining that one? Okay, so 75 water, 86 food. Uh, dang it, yeah. Spoiled meat. I'm not surprised. Better than not having enough food, but it's still a shame. 10 food and 15 water. That's That's got so much on it, though. Uh, grilled rad roach. Alright, any food that's getting low on conditioning. 14 mutt chops that are all getting low. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Little lager. Couple brewskis knocking back for the alcohol bonus. Okay, here we go. What kind of secrets do you hold from me, Riverside Manor? What the hell? I can't go in there. Uh, okay, let's find something else then. Uh, maybe there's a terminal in here. The Vault Tech Duffel Bag, <laughs> nice. They think they're so funny with their shit duffel bags. Oh, boy. Okay, there's got to be a terminal somewhere in here that gives me, like, some access or something. Oh, my God, we never went upstairs. What? There was an upstairs. Riverside? Oh. The roof. No, let's back outside again. Well, at least we haven't been on the roof. Maybe there'll be something good here. How are we going to get in there? We just have a we have a quest that sent us here, but we have like we're like missing important details here. Okay, another safe up top. That's interesting. I almost fell into nothing. Okay, good. What's up here? Also a whole lot of nothing, more or less. Four caps, heck yeah. 2930, we're getting damn close to 3,000 caps. Right up there. Fuel tank. This leads to nothing, I'm sure, except for an ammo box. Sandbags? Someone set up over here in the past. Someone sound, found Riverside Manor and they thought it'd be a good idea to post up. And somewhere in the last 25 years, they have gone missing. Alright, let's open the safe and head back inside. Level, skill level 2, we barely have it. I really want to get our pick lock skill to 3, man. I really, really do. Okay, 3 stim packs. 13 pre-war money. Not bad at all. Let's see if we have better armor, actually. I picked up that one piece. No, that's terrible. I mean, yeah, it has 5 carry weight. So is that. I'm not doing 5 carry weight for way worse armor. We need to keep her alive. Being alive is more important. How am I going to get through there? There's got to be something I'm missing. Terminal somewhere. A, a key card somewhere. Aha, study terminal. Okay, here. Miss Shannon Rivers, the mistress of mystery. Okay, professional calendar. Ah, oh, she was the mistress of mystery, right, from the Silver Shroud. The female companion to the Silver Shroud, let's go. Holiday break, season one filming, blah, blah, blah. That's really cool. Fan mail. Hello, Shannon. You're, here's your latest batch of mail. You know the drill. If you want to reply to any of this, type it up and kick me the holotape. Hope you're doing well. Break a leg in Boston. Miriam Shaw, Sean Associates Agents, my favorite hero. 
Dear Miss Rivers, the Mistress of Mystery is my favorite hero. Want to know why? All the boys want to be like Grognak and run around going grah and hitting things, but the Mistress is smart and fast and comes up with, lo with lots of neat ideas. And anyone who tries to pick on her always loses. I bet she could beat Harry old Grognak any day. I know you aren't really her, but I bet you like her almost as much as I do. Thank you for being so great on the radio, too. Love you. Bye. Karen Tim's age 7. I have raw continu continuity issues. Miss River. Oh my god, I can already see this. Pushing up the glasses. Uh, Miss River, I wanted to complain about the history of the Eye of Ra as depicted in Season 7, Episode 12 of The Seeds of Thebes. This episode seems to suggest that the Mistress may not have possessed the Eye during her second expedition, expedition to Egypt to vanquish the cult of the Unseen Seer. As I'm sure you know, in Mistress of Mystery number 141, a flashback shows the Mistress wearing the Eye at a museum gala that must have occurred between the first and second expedition. The fan consensus is that to obtain the eye during the first expedition. Are, are you hurting from this as much as I am? Although I personally think it was among the relics she inherited from her father, the archaeologist. Your line could be taken to mean that she didn't have it with her at the time, but that seems unlikely, since she wore it or a similar brooch in similar panels near the beginning of the Sourceless Plague art. It is set only a few days later. As a longtime fan of your work, I know how important maintaining the history and continuity of the Mistress's canon is to you, and I hope you will speak with the writers about being more careful with this in the future. Sincerely, Kent Connolly. P.S. Like many fans, I was dismayed by the changes to the Garb of Secrets introduced in the most recent issue. Oh my god, he's still going! This is a hard voice to do. <laughs> While I understand the difficulty of actually fighting, in a full evening dress in the upcoming television show and possible fe feature film. The full length dress has been a staple of the Mistress's costume since her debut. I'm planning to organize a letter reading campaign about this, and I'd appreciate your support. PPS, I'm a huge fan of your work, and I'm looking forward to your appearance in the Silver Stroud show next year. Thanks, kid. That's crazy. <laughs> a mistress must go. Miss Rivers, I read with interest your junior interview in Acting Age. While your conception and portrayal of the Mistress of Mystery has always been above reproach, I understand that many of us feel the name Mistress is an unnecessarily sexualized and loaded term in our patriarchal culture. Oh, kill me. On behalf of modern women everywhere, we hope you will join our petition to change the name of the character to the Sister of Secrets. Sincerely yours, Pauline J. Smith. Oh my god, these are some terrible fan mails. Except for this. You're great, Karen. Wow, that's a sentence. Personal journal. Back from LA, season 8 was spectacular, but the mood at our rap party, rap party was rather down. There's been no word on renewal yet. All the attention at Hubris seems to be on television these days. They have less and less interest in radio. Frederick and, all, Frederick and Olivia are doing well. Olivia was all packed for her annual camping trip to Seneca Rocks, but I've had to put her off. Poor dear was heartbroken. I do hate to break our tradition, but with the Silver Shroud show coming up, I simply can't spare the time. 629. This morning, Frederick asked me to put on my costume veil and come down to the front parlor. He said he had a surprise for me. It's incredible. His little project is beyond anything the writers ever dreamed of. That man really can do anything. It's no wonder I love him. <laughs> my calendar for the next three months is book solid. He's hired the best stunt actors, martial artists, military trainers, a cavalcade of experts, one after another, to make sure I master every technique I'll need for the screen. I don't know who that they have playing the Shroud, but the Mistress of Mystery will be ready for her debut. 10-6. The month that happened. I'm heading out to Boston for rehearsals in the first round of filming. I've never been more ready for a role in my life. Frederick is busy with his projects again. Olivia's tutors say she's doing well. She should ace her university exams. I expect nothing less. She's a bright girl. She's a bright future ahead of her. Day before the bombs. Babowski played me for a fool. After a week of dress rehearsals, he called me in to say they'd made other arrangements for the role of the mistress. It wasn't hard to figure out who. He had a portrait of Claire Riddell, the, that airbrain strumpet, on his desk. He was planning this all along. I gave that bastard a piece of my mind. I've been the voice of the Mistress of Mystery for 26 years. It's the role I cared about most, the character I championed every time Creative tried to set up another love triangle or damsel in distress plot. And now I'm being cut out. Vivi says corporate's already in talks to hire Riddell for next season's series. Damn them. It's amazing what a day can do to your sense of perspective. So glad to be home. Frederick and Olivia are here, they're safe, everything else we can work out. True. Okay, almost a year after the bombs fell. I'm still shaking. When the weather finally broke, we made for Charleston to replenish our supplies. On the way back, we were accosted by hood hooligans on the road. Frederick tried to pay them off. Some fresh water, a few hundred dollars, they just laughed. 
When they laid hands on Olivia, something in me snapped. I don't think they expected the old bitch to put up a fight, but my training just took over. I didn't even hesitate. In less than a minute, they were all laid out on the ground. I think a couple of them were dead. Atta girl. We love that. We had a long talk about the incidents. I expected Olivia to be as frightened as I was, but she was exhilarated, like I was suddenly a real hero. She wants me to train her. I wish it wasn't necessary, but Frederick had a point. The world has changed. We won't be around forever. One way or another, she has to learn to defend herself. But is that enough? What kind of a future does she have if the world has fallen to pieces? What about girls who don't have anyone to stand up for them? Okay, we got three left. One of these has to be have what I want, please. Though this is interesting to read. I've been venturing out- oh, by the way, I'm really glad I didn't do this last episode. This has plenty of content. I've been venturing out dressed as the mistress. It still feels a bit silly, but the costume is an excellent disguise. As strange as it sounds, it makes a difference. Another group of ruffians cornered some refugees on the road from Lewisburg when their caravan broke down in the mud. I don't know how I would react to that, but after all these years, I know how the mistress would. And that confidence works. I saved them. Yeah, that's pretty hype. She, like, pretended to be the hero she always played as, and it's working? That's pretty cool. Frederick and Olivia are rather taken with the idea. Frederick has been working day and night on new tools for me to try, and Olivia is focused on her training. She wants to be a mistress of mystery, just like me. 11-11. Okay, over a year after the bombs fell. This morning, Frederick heard someone in the garage, rifling through the garbage. Three someones, actually. Clarissa, Clarissa, Eve, and Amy. Girls not even Olivia's age. All orphans. It broke my heart. Frederick and I talked it over, and we've decided to take them in. Winter is coming on, and they need somewhere to stay. We have food and space to share. I can't bear to let a child suffer if there's anything to be done about it. Well, they're making it happen out here, to be honest. A year and a half after the bombs. Spring has finally come, such as it is. Every day, caravans of refugees pass by the house. Whole families carrying everything they have. Old men, children. It's horrible. So many children have no one left. A few have been brave enough to come up to the house. I can't turn them away. I never in my life imagined running an orphanage, but what else can I do? So th did all her daughters start dressing up as a mistress of mystery? And so all those dead women in the dress are some of her kids that have died out there in the world? That's tough, if so. We had Olivia move her things out to the guest house so the new girls can take the rooms on this floor. I'm going to clear out of the study and move into my suite downstairs. At this rate, we'll need all the room we can get. That did not tell me what I needed to do at all. I can wear the dress. I cannot. I put it in my storage. Uh... I doubt that'll be the answer, but, you know, we are trying everything we can. Nice beds, I'm sure. Another terminal. Oh, this might be the one we're looking for. This might be the answer we're looking for. Maybe. Guest bedroom terminal. Miss Rivers. Miss Rivers reminds me of my grandma. She seems all stern and serious, but when you're alone with her, she's really nice. Crora and I had a hard time after grandma died. I'm glad Miss Rivers was willing to take us in. I'm glad to have a family again. Chores. Remember, everyone is expected to help out with chores around the house. The sign-up sheet goes up on the fridge at 6 every morning. No one is too young, too old, or too busy. If you aren't sure how to do something, ask one of the older girls to show you. We need everyone to do their part. Eve, P.S. Do not allow Mr. Rivers to sign Mr. Rivers to sign up for cooking duty again. The last time he did it took three, us three days to air out the common room. <laughs> Okay. Want to trade? Anyone want to trade beds? Sarah snores. I'll even take a couch. Gotta be better than this. So, <laughs> sick days. Winter is coming up and that means it's cold season. There are a lot of people in this house so we need to do everything we can to keep colds from spreading. No one wants another dysentery outbreak. That's tough. We're going to use the corner bedroom as our sick ward again this year. If you're not feeling well, check in with Alana or me. We'll move your things over and have your food brought up to you. Wash your hands, drink plenty of water, and get some rest. If things get worse, call me. Natasha. Anyone seen Olivia? She was supposed to be my partner this afternoon, but I haven't been able to find her anywhere. This is the third time this month she's ditched me. I'm getting tired of this, Bridget. Okay. None of the information I actually wanted. Rip this dead person. Okay. Well, we found something. <laughs> it wasn't what I was looking for, but we found something. Damn. I have no idea how to do this. Where to go? What to do? I honestly have no idea. Let me get let me get the dress and we'll try that. I doubt that's the answer, but it's worth a shot. We'll wear the veil, we'll wear the dress, we'll give it a shot. And hope for the best, basically. That's really all I got going for it. We also have a hollow tape with a voice on it. Do we have a hollow tape? We have a hollow tape with a voice on it, right? That might also help. I don't know. Let me get let me go get the dress. 
Back out in the garage. Who closed this door? I'm gonna assume that the game closed the door and not another person. That would be alarming. I'd be alarmed. Alright, let's get the apparel out. Okay. My my bug zapper scares me sometimes. Damaged holotape has a quest marker on it. And it's in my new pile. I bet it is. I bet I have to play the holotape. I probably don't even need this dress, but I'm gonna take it. And that way, we can try both of our strategies at once. Wow, Rose, that is a... That is a new look for you after, um... After everything. Is she wearing heels? Are those heels? No, they're boots. Okay, I was about to say. Okay, well, apparently Rose is wearing a dress now. That's not her style, really, but okay. Let them know, Rose. Let them know. Alright, I'm gonna walk up on the thing, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna play the holotape, and if that doesn't work, boy, my word, am I out of ideas. Again, the fact that this just opens because you get close to it is crazy. It didn't work. Okay. I'm going to play the holotape. Uh, damaged holotape. 26 minutes ago. What? Gangs are on the move. We must look. The order cannot... The order cannot. The Riverside Manor are closing in. Oh no, it's not opening anything. Shit. That did nothing for us. Man, I really thought that was going to be the answer, and I can't afford to touch that. It might kill us, and then the whole run's over. What am I going to do here? Bro, I... I honestly have no idea what to do here. I am at a loss. About to drink some wine to feel better about it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh, boy. Let me run around for a bit, see if I can figure something out. But, uh... It's not looking good. Those were my two best ideas, and neither of them came to fruition, so... Oh, sugar bombs. How did I miss that the first time? What? What? You're kidding me. Oh my god. I was looking through my stuff and saw that the worn veil had a diamond like it was a quest objective. So I took it off, put it back on. I was already wearing it, game. Whatever. Okay, we're through. Jesus. Oh. That was unnecessarily cool. Welcome, Anish. Please proceed to a terminal for registration. Yo! <laughs> There's like a secret base down here. Into the mystery. Completed. Initiative mysteries. We're gonna join the Order of Mysteries? Yo, that's awesome! <laughs> Is there anyone alive in the Order of Mysteries? Oh my god. Of course. And then the Mistress of Mystery sits here? And the Sisters of Secrets sit here or something like that? What is happening? Dude, this is... I need a key. Mistress Natasha Hunt's login needed for terminal. Oh my god, but they're like all dead. Am I too late to join like and have other sisters with us? This this is so cool. What was that thing I just saw? Did you see that? Did I get that through the door? I think I got that through the door. Okay, we don't need that. Scratch the pre-war money. No, stop. Why will you not go down? Scrap that. And that's another thing done. Perfect. Alright, we're killing the tasks right now. Bang. Rank four. Just like that. Oh, armor workbench. We need that. Do some repairs here. <laughs> we're just rocking. They are heels! Oh my god! We're running around in heels. Makes perfect sense, I swear. Workbench repair, yeah. Uh, everything else is pretty repaired, to be honest. Uh, that could be better. 
three ballistic fiber. I'll wait until it's in worse condition, to be honest. That's a lot of that's a lot of stuff. Fabricator terminal. Unauthorized user detected. New initiates. Blah blah blah. Okay, talk to me. This is really cool stuff. Production log number one nine four. And there's two oh nine right there. Been a busy week. Jan and I finally got the new fabricator all wired up. Should have done this years ago. Dude, they they were doing really well for a while after the bombs. Her blade turned out fine, but her phantom device had a bit of a valve leak. Had to clear the lab until we could vent the gas. <laughs> Ooh, nasty stuff. Janet really deserves most of it. 212, credit. okay. It's a slick system, and networking it into cryptos will save us a lot of bookkeeping. Beyond that, usual mix. Shannon wants a recording device for her next mission. Isabella's gun prototype needed some work. Oh, and Eve has me working on some new programs for the Hall of Trials. Had to keep the girls on their toes. They certainly keep me on mine. This was before the bombs. No, it was not. I'm I'm crazy. Just kidding. Nope, it's not. Okay, laser turrets and stuff. Interesting. Hold up. Let me play another personal log while we're reading that guy. And you guys can just listen if you're not interested in reading, I guess. Frederick Rivers, production log, number 209. This whole thing still amazes me sometimes. Take cryptos. I needed a mainframe to run Shannon's training room. My buddy Zack at Robco had a mothball old DIA project he wanted to unload. I didn't give a damn about the price. It looked impressive, and it's been one hell of a machine. The girls have done a fantastic job collecting intel over the years. Rachel, Janet, and I spent the last two weeks pruning the database down, and we've still got more leads than we know what to do with. Oh, Rachel had an idea for an automated query system for mission assignments. I took a look at her code. Nice piece of work. I think our old mainframe's in good hands. Dude, this was pre-war. They were building the fabricator and stuff before the war. I almost missed a fusion core? That's terrifying. And I love that we just got another fusion core. That's huge news. All right, 212. This terminal is really Frederick interesting Rivers, too, by the way. Production log 212. But I can only read so fast when I'm also listening. I've started digging into Kent's old idea for a ballistic weave. It's ambitious, so I'll give him that. Finding the right pattern is going to be... Uh, uh, oh, Shannon. Sorry, I didn't hear you come in. What are you up to, dear? Another log. <laughs> Does anyone ever listen to these? I don't know. Maybe they'll come in handy for Janet someday. She practically runs a place now. I just tinker. You do more than that. I could never have done this without you. I know that look. What's bothering you? <laughs> Olivia? Our daughter is two days late. Again. Frederick, I don't know what to do with that girl. She's Two smart, days late? talented, but she never listens. She won't take orders. When I try to correct her, she just storms off. Do you think you could... Dear, I love you both. I can't get in the middle of this. The two of you need to talk this out. We've always put a lot of pressure on her. She's not perfect, but she's an incredible young woman. Remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's past midnight. Come on, let's go to bed. I can finish this in the morning. Seems like a good dude. Which Rose thinks is really boring, but he seems like a good dude. Um, okay. Uh, there's holotapes in here, and I didn't know if they were going to also play audio. Kent Connolly. Wow, well, there's actually a lot going on here. From Kent, this is really something. You said you had a whole base laid out. I expected a couple of sketches, not architectural diagrams. I mean, look, I'm no electrician. I can't critique your wiring, but this looks incredible. The Hall of Trials is spot on with the training montage from issue 102. The color scheme is right out of the comics. The detailing is phenomenal. Let me stick to what I can comment on. I've got some notes on your last round of proposals. Love to hear what you think. Phantom device. 
I like your second approach better. Why integrate the cloaking device in the gas when just wiring the gas release to the field switch will do? Sure makes assembly easier. Getting the explosive release valve right is going to be tricky, but this should cut down on potential leaks. You sure you want to use hallucinogen gas, though? Their HQ is up my way, and we're on the streets. That stuff's bad news. If you decide to try this out, make sure you've got enough ventilation in just the case. Yeah, definitely don't do that. Kent Connolly. Kent Connolly! That's the that's the nerd ghoul from, um... Oh my god, Fall I, my memory is so bad, but I've played so much Fallout 4, I can do this. It's a town in Fallout 4. It has Hancock at it. Oh my god. Kent Connolly is this huge ner nerd, and pre-war he was helping them with this. That's so good, that's so good. I can't believe I remembered his name, I can't believe that. I can't even remember... Good Springs? It wasn't Good Springs. That's from Fallout New Vegas. I can't remember the name of the town because my memory is horrendous, but he's from there, where Hancock's from. That's awesome, the Veil of Secrets. If you're thinking about building that Phantom device, you need to make sure your Veil has built-in gas filtration. Much as I hate to admit it, you'll want to use the mask from the Mistress's new costume. The traditional one would never give you a good enough seal. Try a multi-layered asbestos liner. Activated charcoal would work better, but there's no way you can make that work in a cloth veil. Why would you want an asbestos liner? That what? Maybe there's something I don't know. Asbestos is bad for you. Really? You're seriously going with the new garb? I mean, look, I get it. It's more practical than the traditional dress, but it just isn't her. The Mistress of Mystery has always worn a full-length gown, except for the Scourge of the Sahara arc. Let's not go there. I'm putting together a letter writing campaign about it. I'm even going to write Shannon Rivers, the voice actress for the Mistress. If we can get her on board, Hubris is bound to listen. You're obviously as much of a fan of the Mistress as I am. You mind writing her too? Writing her too? What? Does he know? Zach Hayes from Zach. Really, just like that. I have to say, giant multi million dollar mainframe systems are usually a harder sell. Not that I'm complaining. For an order like this, a rush installation is no trouble at all. I have my team out at your place on the 23rd. You did say you wanted this delivered to your house, right? I put a copy of the manual on the tape. Look it over. Give me a call if you have any questions. Pleasure doing business with you, Fred, as always. Looking forward to hearing all about your project. Crypto's user manual. <laughs> Error file not found. Awesome. Can't call Emily again. What do you mean you built it? Look, Fred, that's a little much, even from you. I've seen those plans, remember? I mean, sure, you got all the details down. You're as into this as I am. But you're never going to get that kind of hardware. Military-grade mainframe? Combat simulator? It'd cost millions. You have a fortune you haven't been telling me about? Don't get me wrong, I'd love to see whatever it is you've built. A model? Some kind of get-up in your garage? Mail me some photos along with your next tape. Always great talking with you. Yeah, I know it's what they're using in the TV show, and believe me, I'm looking forward to it. The Silver Shroud is my all-time favorite hero, the Garb of Mysteries. I just don't think it's the right call for the mistress. One way or the other, though, you should think about adding some kind of protection to the costume. I saw an article in Guns Ammo about a new concept for Ballistic Weave. You've got connections. Any chance you can get your hands on it? If you do, could you send some my way? If only he knew. Voice of Set. Good, don't get me started on this. Yeah, sure, incendiary cartridges would work, but so would Residence Ammo or Hypersonic Shot or even EMP Bullets. We've been complaining about the voice for years, but Hubris just keeps retconning it. If you want a gun that can handle whatever crazy thing they come up with next, your best bet might be to build a stable hollow receiver so you can swap out the mechanics. Voice of set a gun? Dude, there is so much here. There is so much here. This one house is gonna be a massive episode. I can already feel it. We're in this like secret set we're in the secret area, infirmary. Anybody alive? No, that was be hoping for too much. We would have known by now anyway. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up at all. Okay, we don't have Mistress Natasha Hunt's login terminal. Okay. Stim pack. Hems I can't make. We have the dressing room. Interesting that you'd bother having one, but okay. I guess that's fine. You just have bales in there and, and dresses. Like what? Where does that go? That's not where I came in, is it? That's not where I came in. Where does that go? Ah, okay. Don't mind me. Let me just find another fusion core randomly. That'd be awesome. And more ammo. Syringer ammo in 44 rounds. Alright, it looks like this room is just storage, more just random junk more than anything. Okay. And then here. Production facility. Yeah, this is where this is. Yeah, okay. Alright. 
I've now got a feel for the place. Let's see what we can do with the computer, I guess. Cryptos Terminal. Hey, Cryptos, how are we? New initiate registration. Rank initiate added. <laughs> Just like that, huh? Initiate instructions. Listen to the headmistress's welcome. When finished, log into your new account. If you do not have a mentor, one will be assigned to you. Use the database queries option to search for an available mentor. If you do not have a veil of secrets, report to the production facility. Welcome, unknown user. <laughs> Log in. Mission board. As a safety precaution, initiates are not permitted to accept missions from the system. When your mentor believes that you are ready to operate independently, your promotion and novice will unlock this board. Initiates in need of a mentor should request one by using the appropriate database query. Okay. Mission reports. Animated mission reporting system is still in development. For instructions on who to report your missions to, please just consult the handbook. Okay, well, that's not done. Never was finished, I guess. Following preset queries are available. Initiate mentor assignment. Yeah. Running query. Database done. Mentor assignment done. Accessing user uh, personality profile failed. <laughs> the automated personality match failed. Fail safe. Attempting random match done. Query complete. Mistress Natasha Hunt is on a mission in Lewisburg. Your mentor is currently on a mission. You may wait for a return or meet her in the field and assist her in the completion of the mission. Uh, I don't think that's getting done without us. Order of Mysteries Handbook. Oh my goodness. This is so much. <laughs> okay. I never thought I'd be a part of something like this. All my life I was just an actress, playing the part of a hero on the radio. But everything changed after the war. There were so many people in need, you girls most of all. Frederick and I were glad to adopt you to share you what we could. Food, shelter, and training, my old acting turns, survival skills. But this world needs more than survival. It needs heroes. It needs you. And these past few years, you've shown me that together, as sisters, you can accomplish things that even the Mistress of Mystery could never have imagined. They're all dead now. The Order of Mysteries is a sisterhood dedicated to upholding the virtues exemplified by the Mistress of Mystery. Courage, cunning, and compassion. We fight in the shadows to protect ourselves, one another, and the people of Appalachia from any threat to their lives or liberty. The Mistress of Mystery is one of the longest running and most popular superheroes in the Hubris comic comics can canon. First appearing in Hubris Heroes, number 8, 2039, the Mistress of Mystery has been featured in hundreds of comic books, radio broadcasts, and other properties and licenses, including a weekly newspaper strip, 2052 to 2057, five novels, and several lines of action figures. In August 2077, it was announced that the Mistress would also have a major role in the upcoming live-action Silver Shroud television show, her first appearance on screen. Born Claudia Martin, the daughter of American archaeologists, her young life was torn apart when her parents mysteriously vanished while investigating the Lost Pyramid of Amun-Ra. Dude, that's so fire! If you don't know, on the Crusader Kings 3 playthrough right now, we're literally playing as ancient Egyptians who worship Amun-Ra. What are the chances? That Fallout 76 brings up Amon Ra when that's literally what our playthrough of CK3 right now is all about. That is an insane coincidence. That is an insane coincidence. Orphaned and alone, she was forced to survive by her wits on the streets of Cairo until she was adopted by a wealthy heiress. On her 18th birthday, she came into possession of her parents' effects and set out to learn the truth behind their disappearance, delving into a web of ancient legends, occult societies, and dark intrigue. Mistress of Mystery is a confident, quick-thinking, and capable hero. Instead of superhuman or mystical power, she relies on her skill, training, cunning, stealth, and subterfuge to overcome her foes. Although she often operates alone, she has appeared alongside many of Hubris Comics' other heroes over the course of her career, most notably the Silver Shroud, her longtime friend and former love interest. The Inspector, her partner in the Mysterium mir Mystery serial Serials, and most importantly, the rest of Hubris' greatest heroes on the team of the Unstoppables. The Mistress of Mystery has been drawn by over 30 artists, notably Tara Winters, Kelly Donovan, and Lucille Perkins. The iconic radio voice in the Mistress of Mystery is Shannon Rivers. The Regalia of Mystery. In addition to her skills and training, the Mistress of Mystery drew upon an arsenal of powerful tools to aid her in her work, kind of Batman style. The Veil of Secrets shields the Mistress's face, cloaks her identity, and hones her senses. It also protects her from a range of threats, including poison gas, smoke, and fumes. The Garb of Mysteries is the Mistress's formal gown. Though it took a variety of styles over the years, the Garb is carefully crafted to provide her with unhindered movement, enhancing her stealth and speed. They're heels, though. The Phantom <laughs> Device is a tool for infiltration, creating a cloud of disorienting smoke to conceal the Mistress while she makes a daring escape. The Blade of Bastet is the Mistress's legendary sword. I love the voice of Set in the Eye of Ra. These are all Egyptian shit. That's crazy. That is so crazy. We're doing an Egyptian run in CK3 right now. What are the chances? A weapon of heroes handed down through the ages. Capable of piercing any armor or barrier, the blade is lighter, faster, and stronger than any lesser weapon. 
The voice of Set is the iconic 44 revolver wielded by the Mistress. Nice. Its array of powers included the ability to fire bullets that exploded into noxious smoke, disable electronics, or disrupt magical fields. The Ayara was the Mistress's greatest relic, a jeweled brooch that allowed her to draw upon the full extent of her abilities in the most dire trials. Ranks of promotion. Alright, Initiates are the newest members of the Order. That's us. Initiates work full-time with their mentor to learn basic skills and mission tactics. When they have proven that they are capable of handling missions independently, their mentor will approve their promotion to novice. We're going to have to go find this person dead, grab their information, basically, and pretend to be her and promote ourselves. I'm telling you right now that's what's going to happen. Novices continue to train under their mentor and the Mistress of Novices, working to master the tools and techniques of the Mistress of Mystery. I'd be... I'd be blown away and very impressed if they gave me an actual NPC tool to, like, be with in this little order of ours. In order to advance the rank of Seeker, they must complete a series of capstone missions to earn the elements of the Mistress's Regalia. Seekers study advanced combat tactics as they prepare for their final test, a mission worthy of the true Mistress of Mystery. After completing their mission, they may apply to the Headmistress for promotion. A Mistress of Mystery is a full member of the Order, a master of stealth, infiltration, combat, and tactics, capable of handling herself in any situation. The Mistress of Novices is the second-in-command of the Order, responsible for organizing and assigning missions and coordinating the training programs. The Headmistress is the leader of the Order of Mystery, the first among equals. She inspires and guides the Order in achieving its goals. So, okay, so there's, there's six ranks. And we're trying to become a novice by doing this mission, probably. And then a Seeker, and then etc. Okay. And then as you get the ranks up, you get your gear. Right, right, right. Okay, cool. Missions and mission reports. Members of the Order of Mysteries undertake missions commensurate with their skills and experience. Missions may be assigned by a more senior member of the Order or accepted from the Crypto's mission board. Initiates report to their mentor who will review and access their progress and approve their promotion to the rank of novice. Novices may accept missions from the mission board except for the automated missions associated with their regalia. They report to their mentor or mistress of novices. Seekers and mistresses report directly to the headmistress, or to the headmistress of novices if the headmistress is unavailable. This is so much, it's insane. Okay, so, headmistress of Shannon Rivers, makes sense. Mistress of novices, Eve Devoir, okay. Mistresses of mystery are Catherine Adams, Sarah Burnett, Tiana Chevrel, Kaylee Evans, Lucia Haynes, Natasha Hunt, Evelyn Jackson, Allison Long, Vanessa Richards, Livia Rivers, Alana Redrick, Roderick, Amy Thomas, Janet Tyler, Irina Zakar, Seekers are Isabella Cole, Madeline Gerard, Laura Harding, Kiana Howell, Brianna Leon, Rachel West, and the novices are Cora Belmont, Sydney Ooh, Belmont, Sydney Ellis, Johanna Johnson, Anna Perez, Bridget Reeves, Bridget Reeves, Sonia, Sonia Ryland, Violet Thomas, and the initiates are Alexis Belmont, Zoe Evans, and Justine Silva. Technical specialist Frederick Rivers, and us in the initiates list. Are you telling me all these people are dead 25 years after the bomb? Not a single one of them lived. About Miss Rivers, our last century here. Shanna Rivers, 2024, was born in Beckley, West Virginia. After an early career in... Okay, so she was 50... 53 when the bombs fell, I think? I think that tracks. That's why they had her replaced as the Mistress of Mystery. She was looking too old. That's unfortunately Hollywood for you, a little bit, yeah. But some 53-year-olds still smoke. I'm just saying. Miss Rivers made her radio debut in 2047's Invaders from Planet Zed. She quickly earned a reputation as gifted and versatile actress, starring in numerous radio dramas and serials. In 2051, she began her long-running role as the radio voice of the Mistress of Mystery. Miss Rivers is well known for her advocacy of charitable causes, especially issues affecting the economically depressed residents of Appalachia. In 2053, she married Frederick Rivers, noted inventor and architect. They have a daughter, Olivia. So Olivia was actually not the Mistress of Novices? She was one of the Mistresses of Mystery, okay. About Cryptos. Cares about our little system here. Cryptos is a genuine Robco mainframe, custom built for top, some top secret DIA project before the war. The government pulled the contract and one of my buddies asked if I wanted to take it off their hands. I needed something to run Shannon's new training room, your Hall of Trials, and it was a steal, so I took him up on it. If you have any questions, don't be shy, I'm always happy to talk tech, Frederick. Golly, that was a lot of information. It even has like a unique animation. Got the stealth boy. Dude, that is so sick. Join the Order of Mysteries. Use the fabricator to repair your worn veil. Oh, nice. It's gonna get better? Talk to the overseer eventually. Access the environmental monitoring program. That's weird. But I guess we can do that one day. Um, don't worry about collect honey. Where is Lewisburg? 
Where where is Lewisburg? Where oh here we are. Nope, that's to find the source of the Vault Tech broadcast. We do need to do that ne next to the Wayward soon, I guess. Interesting, interesting. I do not understand where I'm going for this other quest, though. Lewisburg. I do not know where Lewisburg is. For the Mistress of Mystery, is it way over here? No way. No, it's not. Rad Rat Horde? Cranberry Bog? That's crazy. Oh, here's Lewisburg. Meet your mentor in Lewisburg. It's down here. It's all... Uh, there's so much stuff going on in the ash heap that we just gotta stay. We gotta stay. Miscellaneous quest as well. Oh, yeah. Definitely. 100%. Dude, this is so hype. I, I can't wait to work my way up the ranks. It's gonna be so cool. Fabricator Terminal. Fabrication uh, system instructions. Hello, ladies. Meet the newest addition to our production facility, the Order of Mysteries Automated Fabrication System. I think it's our best invention yet. Lately, we've been spending more and more time making the routine items you all need. Your weapons, veils, garb. Happy to do it, but it's been keeping us from working on anything new. So we've built this little guy. Just select the item you want, insert the components, and it should be able to assemble your standard gear in a couple of minutes. It's all hooked up in the cryptos, too, so it knows what you're authorized to make. And the system supplies are limited, so you can only make each item once. Let me know if you want an override on that, or if you need something custom. Always happy to help. You are authorized to fabricate the following items. Rank item, initiate. Fail of seals. Pump it out. Fabricate me a new veil. I'm ready. Oh, it's, it just goes into my inventory. Very cool. Not actually very cool, but okay. Veil of Secrets. Oh, it just repaired the one I was wearing. Okay, sure. What, does it look better now? Yeah, probably. Kind of hard to tell, but probably. Yeah, that probably looks newer. I'm going to need a newer dress, too, because this dress is a mess. But I'll wear it for now because we're a, we're a, we're a novice, man. I'm going to rock this dress for a bit. Wait, where did the other exit go? I want to know. This is pretty crazy, to be honest. This is a lot, actually. This is a lot. Hello? What is this? Elevator pods? Like superhero elevator pods? Where am I going? Is it going to be a telephone booth? Or one of those nuke shelter things? This is really cool, guys. This is really cool. It's a bummer that they that it looks like all of them are dead. That many, with that many resources, that much resource, and that many people, and you all die? That part I'm not so sure about, but... Okay. So it leads out here. On this There's a frag mine there. Why? What the? That was weird. Why is there a frag mine next to that car? There's two of them. I'm not even gonna try it. I don't even. I don't need those frag mines that badly, to be honest. Not worth risking that. Okay. There's a building here that we could explore. But honestly, that was probably the whole episode. That took so long. Let's level up. Let's see for Master Pock and Pick Lock. Lock Pick. It, it, pick Lock. It is Pick Lock. Master Rifleman. No Master Pick Lock. Damn. Okay, something's happening. Master Hacker. Master Hacker is available. Nice. Grab it. Heck yeah. Okay, we don't have Master Pick Lock yet, but we do have Master Hacker. And that suggests that Master Picklock should be coming soon, at least. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, right next to this will work for now. <laughs> work for now. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Fallout 76. Boy, we are not going to get through those mutt chops. Those are definitely going bad. Rip. Vodka, a little bit of whiskey. You know, just got absolutely hammered out here. <laughs> absolutely stunned. And yeah, we're going to pick up here with uh, Rose next time. We'll explore whatever this building is. And then I guess we're going to make ourselves deeper into the ash heap. Maybe we go here first. If 
Final exam site is right there, but if we go here first, we can kind of like do a loop. You know what I mean? Maybe that'll work out. I'm not sure, to be honest, but we'll see. Thank you again so much. And Rose and I will see all of you for more Fallout 76 trying to keep Rose alive. So far, so good. Next time. Maybe at the novice rank, they'll actually like get a, like a like a new dress. You know what I mean? Something that's not all like completely jacked up, but something actually somewhat wearable. You can only dream. You can only hope. I want to get this whole mistress of mystery thing, man. That is, that is, this is so sick. This is so cool. I don't even mind that I had to do all that reading because that was a lot of reading. But it was all set up. <laughs>